Hi, I'm Christopher Walker with Closely Observed Literature. This is a quick review of A Little History of the World by E.H. Gombrich. And I've got this in the hardback because I read it once. I think I borrowed it from the library. I loved it so much I decided to order myself another copy. Um, I'm going to be reading this to my children when they're a little bit older. I think they're still a bit young um, to know much about history or to be able to appreciate it, but they're starting to learn little bits here and there at school. So I think any day now it'd be time to pull this down off the shelf and to tell them something. So Gombrich's audience here is, is well, children, I suppose, but that just means that he writes in a nice, simple, uh, non-condescending manner. Um, he makes uh, his points clearly and in language that anyone can understand. And I felt I learned something from this. I mean, I'm not, I was never a great student of history when I was at school. Um, but still, I think I benefited from reading this book. Um, there is a bit of a kind of bias towards uh, Europe and the Western world. Um, but I think you need to know the, the basics of history and to have the kind of vocabulary to discuss history before you can start turning your attention to other places. So as an introduction, it's very good. Hopefully it will whet the appetite of any reader. So they'll want to go out and learn more about the history of Asia, the history of the Americas, the history of Africa, because they are rather overlooked here. And uh, that's not a terrible weakness because looking at the length of it, it's already going to strain the attention span of most young readers. Um, but it's a great, great, um, Figuratively speaking, it's a great diving board into the pools of history. So I really recommend this. I like the writing of E.H. Gombrich. Um, so if you find anything of his, I think you'll find reading it a rewarding experience. Very well. Until next time, thank you.